Hi guys, it's Farmer Mad Mimi, and we've had to do some huge, huge amount of weed eating. Um, but here's some. Hey, Homer, get down. Uh, this is a to tomato plant. It's got a few maters on it, not as much as the other one. Um, but yeah, tomato in a pot. That's how all of my plants are this year. So. There's some tomatoes in there. Alrighty. Here's my uh, lilac trees. There's two of them. I still have to find a place to plant them. Somewhere in the front yard. I just don't know where yet. Alrighty. Oh, this one is a... This is the nice tomato plant. It's covered with tomatoes everywhere. Is start falling over, so I had to use purple yarn to hang it up. Yup, but yep, yep, yep. There's lots of maters on here. We're gonna make some salsa this year. I think that'll be cool. We'll have to use store bought onions because I didn't plant any onions, or I should say, my Billy didn't plant any onions. But there's more little baby ones popping up right there. Yep, yep, yep. Super excited. If we have to, we'll make green um, salsa. Here's my rose bush. It has been putting out roses. These are the first blooms. Um, it was falling apart, so I had to lift it up with purple yarn also. But we have lots and lots of blooms trying to come out. There's a couple there. There's a couple more there. Uh, there's some more there and some there. And they smell very much like roses. There's some more there. I'm not a, um, I'm allergic to them, but as long as they stay outside, I'm good. And there's some more there. We got blooms happening everywhere. So, uh, and some there. Whenever I tied it up, I kind of lost, uh, some of the flowers but it's all right okay so let's go see the zucchini i've already picked two zucchini this year and then they kind of went to hell in a handbasket but they have come back here's a zucchini starting and there's a couple more there's like about seven more starting on this one all of them are looking very good except for this one right here and this one right here but that's okay I can pull those off so it will go to the ones that are prettier. Uh, the the two that I pulled off were one of them was 17 inches long and one of, or excuse me, 18 inches. And the other one was uh, 21 inches. There's some more zucchini happening on that one. Uh, what is that? I'm wondering if that is a cottonwood thingamajiggy. Um, no, that's a piece of the flower, I think. But yet we have some more coming up here. Beautiful, beautiful. There's two growing very well here. And here's the Peter Pepper plants. They're a lot bigger since the last time you saw them. Um, I do have, I need to weed this pot, huh? It's all good. It's all good. I'm not sure if we'll actually get any peppers um, before winter hits or fall hits. Um, but I'm going to take them inside and see if I can. Here's some more Peter Peppers over here. There's some more Peter Peppers right there. I don't have a place in here that gets full sunshine, you know, the time that we need. So this is what we can get while we can. It's like, uh, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock at night. Um, we still have about uh, 20 hours of daylight. So we'll just have to see 
you know, if we get any Peter Peppers. I'm really hoping I do. I won't eat one because it's going to be too hot for me. But what is that? Oh, that's another leaf coming up, I think. It's all good. It's all good. Something's been eating my leaves. Maybe I have aphids. Maybe I need to get some. Let me see. Is that an aphid right there? Could be. I don't know. I got something, so I might need to. Oh, that's probably ash. I don't know. We have lots of forest fires, so. But, yep, there's a. Uh, there's zucchini and Peter Peppers right there. All righty, I'll take you to go see the Chicky Wickies. Okay, so these three on the, right here at the bottom, they are mine. They are either, I think they're actually Diocal Bantams. And then the one in the back, her little baby chick went outside and that one's Mama. Ooh. I know, Tallulah. And she's Ooh. trying to tell it to come back inside. And of course, you know, like any other animal would say, nope. I'm fine out here. And then here's mine. None of mine have names yet. This one on the left, right there, kind of looks like a porcelain deal. There it is coming back in. Uh-oh. Is it stuck? No, there it goes. Now it's with oh. mama. Oh. So, there they are. I have two hens and one rooster. And um, right there, I have a hen and a baby. I have no clue what it is. And uh, they will be going back to my billies because that's whose they are. All right, I'll show you the other chicks. All right, so there are six baby chicks that I brought home. Oh, because... My Billy is going on vacation to see her family for two weeks, and uh, oh, I tried to give them to Mama, but Mama was not interested and tried to peck them to death. So they came out, and now they are in the brooder. I'm running all around. This one right here, I can already tell, is an Easter egger. And uh, the others, I don't know. There were copper moran eggs in there. They're all going to be mixed breeds, which is just perfect for everything. And um, maybe I should throw some of this food down here. Maybe they'll eat it better. There. Alrighty, so I should be picking up a couple more chicks. Um... Tomorrow, there was one that had just hatched. It was not ready to come out because he was still wet. And one and a couple that had pipped. So we shall see. Although I am not hatching babies, um, I have babies. So there we go. Trying to teach babies how to eat. Fun, fun, fun. Farmer Mad Mimi. Signing off. Hey, quit poking each other. I know, you want your light back.